The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was a mercy to the world, not just humanity. He was a mercy to the world of animals as well. It was a mercy that he manifested in his actions and a mercy that he taught. He emerged from a society that gave no significance to animals beyond their utility to their owners, where abuse was rampant and unchecked, but he transformed their attitudes toward the animals in their care and those with whom they shared this earth. His every interaction manifested that mercy. In a military campaign, some soldiers had come across a bird and her young. In the absence of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, they took her young and continued on. When the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, returned, he saw the mother bird in distress, beating her wings on the ground, to which he made an amazing statement that would teach a nation. Who has put this bird to distress on account of her young? Return them to her. He taught that a woman entered the hellfire because she imprisoned a cat, starving it to death, and that a prostitute entered paradise for bringing water to a thirsty dog. He was asked by his companions if they were actually rewarded for being kind to animals. His words have echoed for over a thousand years. There is a reward for kindness to every living thing. He taught that livestock be treated humanely that their owners not starve them, overwork them, overload them. He forbade that they be struck in the face or branded in the face. And he taught that animals never, ever be used as targets. He taught that mankind fear God in regards to animals and that they will be asked about their treatment of them. And he transformed the view that was had about animals, that they were shared inhabitants on this earth with their own sanctity and that they praise God in their own ways that we do not understand and that their presence enriches our lives. Hence he said, don't curse the rooster, for it awakens us for prayer. He was a mercy to the worlds. He was a mercy to their world.